Ooh, you hear that? I heard something. Oh man, this is heavy. No way. You see that? The guy was arrested for distributing. So here we are at another storage unit number. 14 here. We paid $90 for this unit and the reason might be a little stupid, but don't judge us. We'll show you why when we get inside. Let's go. So a little weird right here. Like we bought this unit three days ago and we came back and for some reason, I guess something inside fell. These shoes were not there. They were not there. This unit would have went way higher than $90 if they were there. Something has fallen somewhere because this picture was front and center. Those shoes were not there and there was a giant light in the back which is no longer visible. So I don't know if somebody's been in here or something fell, but something's definitely not the way it was when we bought the unit. If those Jordans were there, this thing would have went for probably two or 300 easily. So. I think we got a good unit. The only reason we really bought it is because there's a couple easy tools to sell over here. And there's a Dolphins hat and you know that's Baby Jeeves' team for some reason. But I guess let's start going to do it. Let's pull out this first bag here. Oh, it's heavier than it looks. Jeez. Oh, well, we got a leaf blower. We got some hats. Let's look at all the teams we have, I guess. Everything in this unit is dirty. Look at this. My hands are already. This looks like a mechanic. Dolphins, Giants, the bad Giants, or I guess the worst Giants. Another one. These guys, can you believe it? This is They're going to go to the Super Bowl. What the, what's going on? This is in the 80s. And then that one. All right, what else do we got going? Why is all the hats like covered in? Like I used to work at a Toyota dealership, and this is what everybody looks like all the time. Just covered in this black stuff. You don't really know where it comes from, but that's where it is all the time. What else do we got going on in here? Man, how are our prices tell you? Put the sock on it. Oh, it's got a sock. Gosh! Ooh, nope, they're fake ones. These are the bear paw Uggs. They're not really Uggs, they're just called bear paw. They look very similar to Uggs, but they're not quite as expensive. So no good there. What is this though? Is this a photo album? That has a Bible. Anything inside? Oh, I saw something. Just mail and a pen and that. Well, that's pretty, oh no it's not. Yes, who's ready for a workout now? <laughs> who, who in their right mind thought this was a good idea? Who? This is just wrong with so many levels. <laughs> it's not really a chainsaw, but we have an expert gardener leaf blower, but it's still super dirty. Look at my hands already. I've been in this unit for five minutes. This is Toyota flashbacks all over again. We also have, that Stored very nicely. Is a this chainsaw. is a chainsaw. Uh -huh. Is it a plug-in one? Yeah, it is. Chainsaw man. Uh, but there's no blade on it, but it's still pretty cool. Easily resale. They sell those kind of tools go really quick, so that's good. We got a ooh, ooh hello. Look what I see. A wallet. Forget this box. We'll come back. <laughs> Even though I've never once found money in a wallet, it's still exciting. Credit cards. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. And nope. Another crappy wallet. Like, why would you not leave cash, but you'll leave all your personal bank cards behind? Something about that just doesn't, doesn't calculate. We got, this is another Bible. Really old, dirty Bible. I don't know what went on in this locker, but it's not clean. Shaving kit. No fun, no fun there. Should I pull this whole drawer out? Sure. Let's get this out. I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna keep it here. Ugh. You don't see these pictures. They are those. Um, lots of medication. Hey, <laughs> they're used. Look at your fingers. Jeez, look at this. I've been in this unit for five minutes. my deodorant too. I always use it. I wish it was another one. There's three in there. What's she, do you have a spray somewhere, dude? <laughs> I'm really out. We just had to order more from Walmart. Well, nothing else exciting in here. Let me get this out the way. Let's get this printer and hope it's not destroyed because it took a nice little fall there, but look at it. Like, what happened here? Like, is this like the whole unit? Some type of portal to the inside of a car? <laughs> 
That's what it looks like. Like, what's going on with everything? Oh, uh, what's that? That is toilet seat? a toilet seat. Just, just what I needed. It's new. Some oh, some value. It's so random. Let's see what's in this box here. Starting to build my little table up. These all pictures, DVDs. Let's see what we got. Actual glasses. There's probably CDs in here. Markers, okay. Never mind. Um, what kind of cologne we got? Dulce, whatever. Dulce. Yeah. Well, not much else in here. Bunch of random stuff, and let's just see how much how black my hands can get as I keep going through this unit. When it's all done, I feel like they're gonna be completely black. Let me bring back some nostalgic memories right now. Look at that. <laughs> Please be kind and rewind. Be honest, be honest, you never did it. No one ever did it. I don't think I ever got a VHS tape for Blockbuster that was actually rewinded, ever. Let's rewind it or reround? I don't know, I'm gonna say rewind it because it sounds cool. Ooh. What went on in here? Why is everything so grimy? Why? Just why? What? What did you do? There's some printer cartridges. Look at this. There's HP ink. I might. I can use that actually. Keep Hopefully. That. Yeah. There's more. Yay. Hopefully it fits our printer. It's an HP, so hopefully we get lucky. Some but clothes. <laughs> clothes and disgusting. Who knows what else? So I was going through here more in depth, but I found two. Um, McDonald's gift cards and one has ten dollars and one has five dollars. So Fifteen dollars at McDonald's, unsweet tea. Good yeah. job, Mama Jeebus. Let's keep on going. So we got a little computer monitor. Who knows if it even can see the screen anymore? Like I don't know what happened in this unit. I really don't. Maybe somebody stored dynamite. They went off, and that's why there's black powder everywhere. I don't know. Spick and span, cleaner. Definitely gonna need this thing right here. You probably should have used it, but. That's all cleaners in there, which we're probably gonna need after this unit, so that's good, I guess. Set that aside. Mm -hmm. I know I don't wanna touch them. Look, because they're <laughs> actually the in bottom. good shape. Look, but they're not even, what are these? I don't even know what brand they are. I have no idea. Adidas? Are they Adidas? Oh yeah, they are. The rest of this is like those weird carpets that people put on a toilet for some reason, in case, I guess you want the mildew smell in your bathroom. We got those too. And look at all the Nikes here, really, really, don't want to touch them so we're going to show them all to you in the recap because if i touch them they're probably going to lose half the value right now i'll touch so i had to go out and wash my hands and literally try to find some gloves they're not really my size i can't even extend my fingers but let's go through some of the shoes because they look to be one of the only things that are in good shape look at those or this one at least could have guessed the size 9.5 because what are you about an eight? eight he's about a 13 i'm about a 15 so usually we find shoes that find in that awkward range if it nobody but we got that one there's the match Boom. All right. One pair of shoes. Those are good condition. Yeah, they're good shape. That's probably, I don't know how much actually, but these yeah, are. Here's another Nike. This is match right here. No. Nope. Well, let's put these aside. I got a blue one and a aquamarine one. Uh, look at those. Those are Jordans. No, just Nikes. Hmm. Some purple Nikes. I don't like finding singles now. Ooh, look at those. Those actually look kind of nice. They do. But again, one shoe. Same with the red one here. One shoe. Where's our pair is at? There's the pair of the red one. Okay, there's, oop. Red that one. one's a little dirty though. But that looks like the same black grimy stuff that we've been finding. Yeah. We'll be able to wipe it off with some wipes, no problem. This one's an Adidas. Do we have that one? No. No. Another single. What about this one? Is this an Adidas? What is this? Not the Jordan. But no match. No yet. match yet. Come on. <laughs> what about this one? No. We found those before. <sighs> I'm getting really annoyed at this. No I don't match. like single shoes. What about this one? Nope. Seriously? How many single shoes are we going to have here? <laughs> okay, really? We only have what? Two matches? Look at those. They're like Converse tennis shoes. I didn't know they make these kind of things. I didn't know Converse sold anything other than your typical Chucks. Some more Nikes here. We're, we're getting a lot of single shoes and that's not good. Let's get this thing out. Cause this, when we first bought the unit, that thing was clearly visible. On top. Yeah, it was on top. Now we come back, it's hidden behind all this stuff and there's shoes everywhere. So 
something strange here. I don't know what happened. I don't know if somebody got into the unit or what happened, but I don't. I don't know how stuff can fall. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, cause we didn't even see like a bag or a box of shoes when we got it. It's like, and why are half of them missing? It looks like a disco light. You see that? Yeah. That's kind of strange. Hmm. Weird stuff works. going on here. So I don't know. I am here. <sighs> Recap. Uh, there's some Golden State Warriors pillows. Trash. Let's see the TV. You think it's cracked? What do you think? Is it? I don't know. <laughs> Is it? No, I don't see any. Not externally, at least. Yep. We'll have to plug it in when we get home and see if we have an internal crack. What else do we got going on over here? All these printers. They look paper towels. We're going to need those, too. But they're black, too. Some dress shoes in here. What are they? Stacy Adams. We sold like a pair that was like 30 bucks before. They're not in the greatest shape, but look at in here. He's got all the stuff to clean them for us. So we got another printer here. We're at two printers now. And printers are usually hit and miss. Usually they're like five, ten dollars at a flea market. Sometimes you can get lucky and get an expensive one, but usually not the case. Let's see what this is. Ugh. This is an old computer. And that's a Windows 7 actually. It's not too old. So an old CPU here. I don't see any specs on it. It's an Acer. Anything, anyone that knows anything about computers, Acers are kind of the bottom breed there. So let's we'll set that aside right now. Printer, let's see what's in the laptop case. Ugh. I don't think there's enough weight for there to be an actual laptop. Look, do. Hey, what? Oh, look. It's, there's something in there, though. But it's disgusting. But it'll clean up. Like, all this grime is not like rips and tears, and unfixable damage. It's just dirty. What is that? What is this? Side odor killer. What? Excite odor killer? Odor kill. Okay. And there's a book in there. Okay. This is really random, I'm telling you. This is a very random unit. So our detectives are over here doing work <laughs> behind the scenes and well, we got a serious drug addict storage unit. How many bottles of, what is it, 30 milligram Percocets? We're sitting on like 15 bottles of those. And methadone. There's like there's like nine bottles of 30 milligram Percocet that are empty, and like five bottles of 10 milligram methadone, which I believe is used to come off of narcotics. And if I'm right, they, what they normally give somebody that's coming out of surgery is five milligrams, right? So this dude's taking six times what's normal and has that many bottles of them. What's the crazy? thing is, they're dated around the same time. So like this dude's probably hopping doctors, hopping hospitals, just piling up the pills, which is, I guess the people take advantage of the system like that, but serious druggy. Let's pull this bag out now. I'm kind of scared after figuring stuff out. Ugh. What do we got here? Is it all closed? Is this all closed? It looks like all closed, doesn't it? Yeah, what's that box? This is a oh, stuff in there. Sony DVD player. Brand new. DVD players aren't really worth much though. Extension cord. Can always use that. The rest of it now. The rest of it is that. Oh, there's one more thing. What is that? Ultrasonic pest, pest repellents. repellents. Cool. All right. Well, other than that, it's a giant bag of dirty clothes. I'm gonna start digging into this pile in the corner. It looks like a lot of clothes, dress clothes, more just dress clothes. Yeah. Uh, get out! Get out! More yeah. dress clothes, clothes. These are new. Look at that. You see that? Uh. -uh. Look at all these tags. Hold on. Oh, I just saw tags on something. These don't have tags, do they? These do. Oh, these shorts. Look, they're brand new, and they retail for fifty bucks. Must be a nice brand. This is another pair. No, these aren't shorts. I mean, they might be short for somebody like me. But some of these clothes might be brand new, which could be also good money. Let's keep the wrong stuff out. Ugh, look at this. Just dress clothes after dress clothes after dress clothes. And more. More clothes. Still, clothes are clothes. That's Golden State. But it's just destroyed. Like, what did you do in this unit? You blew something up. Something blew up. Did you see that bug? It just yes. landed on the camera. It landed on my nose. I'm pretty sure it came out of here. <laughs> Uh, what else do we got? That. Clothes. These are a dirty bag of I don't know what. 
This is, let's see, Metro PCS, do we got a phone? Oh, we have a phone box. It's empty, unfortunately. Phone chargers are in there. What do you think this is? Looks like new stuff. Um, uh, yeah, no, it's like bathroom stuff, but it's not necessarily new. It's kind of gross, actually. I'm just gonna let it sit there and act like I didn't see that. Next thing, we got a 2,000 mile long extension cord in case you gotta like, I don't know, steal your neighbor's power. Joking, probably power tool. Um, ooh, you hear that? I heard something. Oh man, this is heavy. Oh, gee. Holy, you know what? Hey. Hey. Look at that. We didn't find that one. Look at those though. They're <laughs> super nice, aren't they? Yeah. Mm, size 10. Maybe these are where all the other shoes are. I see shoes in there. Good. Um, that. Shaving stuff. No fun. Hey, look. There's the match to those. So that's a nice pair of Jordans. I think a lot of new stuff in here. Um, look, brand new pack of boxer briefs, never opened. Brand new sheet set for a queen bed, never opened. Oh well, more pills. Give it to the detective. Same thing. This is crazy. Um, did we find this one yet? Yes. So there's the other pair of Jordans, or another complete pair. We know we're gonna do a recap at the end and show you everything, cause it's getting kind of hectic right now. What else have we got? Look, I know we found that. Yeah. So we do have a lot of shoes. Yellow <coughs> highlighter Nikes. <clears throat> hey, Ooh. is that the one? No. This is an Adidas. This is a new one. It's an Adidas. <laughs> what are these? These Converse? Converse. Yeah. Man, there's a lot of shoes in here. Hold on. Oh. What is that? Ooh, look, look inside. You see how clean this side looks? Like boom, and you turn it around. What happened on that side in particular? Brand new, World War II. Kind of weird. There's some more. Oof, there's the highlighter shoe. There is. Another Adidas. There's the Adidas. Hey, look, another Jordan. Yeah, look at that. Did we find the other one of those? I think we you, did. You just looked at that one. Okay. I'm getting confused. <laughs> Too many shoes for me. What are these? Nikes? I don't know if we found that one. I don't know anymore. Nike. Why does one man need so many shoes? Hmm. I, I still have shoes I got hey, for Christmas like three or four years new? ago. That's a Yeezy box. Is it? Yeezy box. You think it's in there? No way. You see that? That was real. Look at that. Um. Um. Whatever. I mean, if they are, they're literally brand new. Like, the bottom. Oh. They're not even, like, worn. Oh, no, they're brand new. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. I don't know how to tell. Nine. Elevens nine. or nine. Something like that. Well. Look. Easy boost. Three. Whatever. Three. 50. There's the, the little Adidas sign on their website. Hmm. That's well, nice right there. Let's find another box. Yeah, let's. What else do we have going? Is that another? That's yeah. that shoe I found earlier in Adidas. And well, another Adidas. Another yeah, we found Nike. That and man, I think that's just about it for this bag. There's no, there's more. There's more shoes in Guys, there. during the recap, we'll show you all the shoes. You're gonna have like probably 25 pairs of shoes, easy. This is something kind of bad to find out when we're 85% done with the storage unit, but the bag I threw over with pills in it, guess what they're used to treat? It's used for HIV and AIDS. So, we probably have a drug addict that was infected with AIDS. Not a good, not a good look, not a good person stuff to be going through. I'm glad I got gloves, but we're almost done at this point, so we might as well finish. Anything happened, it's already happened. Plot twist again. So we're continuing. We have our detectives looking through stuff. The guy was arrested for distributing. So this is just obviously theory here. If you have a disease such as AIDS, I'm pretty sure you can go to just about any clinic 
and get pain medication, right? So my thought is he's going from medi or facility to facility, jumping, buying these pain pills, and then reselling them on the street for money. That's my, uh, that makes sense, right? You know when normal person has 18 bottles of 30 milligram Percocet in a two month period? That's not normal. Normal people don't do that unless they're either one, massive drug addicts, or two, they're selling it. And obviously we have proof that he was arrested for selling it, so that's my guess. Let me hear yours. All right, let's go through the last like real bag here. Last sheet bag we had was, ooh. I hear money in there. I hear money in there too. Well, that's, they had a lot of change in here, you hear that? Do. Ooh. <laughs> Sounds like a whole bag of change. What if he just had all the money he's made from selling his stuff in here? Ooh. We found all the shoes, all the money. This would be this is a ninety dollar unit. We've already like made way, way more than we've put into I mean, it. Because you could say at least ten bucks of shoes on each At least of them. there's more shoes in here. And What's there's this? more behind. That's the speaker, look. And there's something else in there. Let's see. Oh look at that. <laughs> Literally has a USB and aux. That's kind of that's, that's expensive. Let's see. Fila. Um, well, let's see. All the cheap shoes in here. What? All the cheap shoes. Actually, yeah. there's red and black Jordans, it looks like. Look at that. No. Oh, I thought I said Gucci. It's gas. I just saw the G. Look on the right over here. Oh, well. That. This. No, my right. Those are Adidas. <laughs> Your left. Oh, Adidas. Adidas as well. Adidas aren't cheap. They're just not Jordan high. Let's see. Where's the oh. change? Right here. Come on. Just a little thing full of pennies. There's more in there. There's probably, it's spilled everywhere. Oh, look at this, jeez. Can you see that? Kinda. It's just loaded with change. Another pair of Nikes. Um, whoa, man. Look at all this. Um, what's this used for, sir? I don't know. What is that? I don't know. I just don't trust anything that's going on in this unit no more. Voyager <laughs> Edge. Uh, hey, that in there, I don't know. Mm, I don't know if it's just the piece to it or the whole thing. I don't know either. But, literally this one looks like a lot of clothes. But there is change at the bottom, so. There's money in there, I don't know how much. Anything else in here we're really missing? Uh, this printer, Black & Decker, crock pot. Oh! Well! More money. Where? Oh, look at this. More medicine? Uh-huh, detox. Same thing. So I don't know if he was... I'm so lost. Maybe you selling to support his using? I don't know. It's all pennies again. Look at that, it's probably another few bucks and pennies though. You see that? Yep. There's a lot of them in there. Let's see what's in here, and that's pretty much it. Last little box. This looks like it might be, who knows what. What is this? A pill thing. Mm -hmm. Never used, I wonder why. <laughs> well, let's see. What is this? Ooh. This is a wallet with no money. Nope. Maybe in a zipper. Open, open, open. Nope, just cards. Well, the rest of it, you'll never guess. Pill bottles. More pill bottles. So you know what? I think that's it for now. We have a big mess to clean up. Let's get it in the van and we'll do a home and do a recap. All right, welcome to Foot Locker. Or should I say the recap of this storage unit, guys? We saw a lot of shoes and there were a lot of shoes. Everything you see on the table is still not all of them. We literally could not fit all the different pairs of shoes on this table. How do I even begin to recap this? Um, yeah, you see a lot of shoes. Can I start off by saying one thing though? They may not look great on camera, but from what we've seen already, you take a wipe to these, they all just have that black powdery, whatever is all in this unit on them. 95% of these, once we take a rag to these and take this black stuff off, they look really, really good conditionally. Really, really good shape. This is a lot of money worth of shoes. So I just try to start in the front here. Oh yeah. Nice pair of Jordans right here. What is this, Nikes? I don't even know. I don't know. Nikes, <laughs> Nikes, Nike. I try to put Nikes in the front. Nikes, Jordans, Jordans, 
Nikes. I think Adidas. these are Adidas, yeah. Adidas. What are those? Adidas too? Yeah. Adidas, Converse. These are Penguin. I've never even heard of Penguins, so I don't know if those are valuable. These are Adidas, Nikes, 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 Nikes. And what are these? Adidas? Um, I think those are Adidas. I think those are the ones I pulled out. Yeah, in they are. Adidas. Adidas and Converse. Converse. And down here, we also got this pair of like Miami Dolphin looking Nikes here. These, I don't even know what these are. I think it says Coleman. Coleman, yep. It's like these a grill brand. Are actually nice looking too. This is another pair of Nikes. But again, like they look dirty, right? But that is just that black powder. That'll come right off. Just whoosh, done, gone. And that's not it still. Another pair of Nikes down here. And lastly, finally, another pair of Adidas. And don't forget the big daddies. Basically, pretty much brand new in the box Yeezys. Yeezys. They're so ugly. I get they're expensive, but they're just so yeah. gross. You could have picked a better, like, there's better looking ones than these. But these I, are like I worst. think the best looking pair of Yeezys doesn't compare to a crappy pair of Jordans. Jordans just look better all around. Yeah. Let's count this out. On the floor, one, two, three, four, five pairs of shoes there. Six. Six kind of the Yeezys. Yes. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27 pairs of shoes in this unit. And don't forget, there's also a couple pairs of dress shoes that are out there. So we have about 30 pairs of shoes from one, how much was that unit, $90? Yes. I think it was a $90 for a storage unit. I think we did very well, and that's just including <laughs> these. We got the Disco Light, which is pretty G. The computer, which oh, we didn't even try to plug that one. Which in. I plugged the disco light in and it does work. Ooh, we're gonna party tonight. We're gonna <laughs> party like it's 1699. If you know where that song lyrics from, I like you. But guys, this is a massive score. It seems that every time we find like an arrest record that points to them selling drugs, we have like a huge score that comes with it. It's kind of ironic, isn't it? I mean, some of our best videos on this channel literally are units where it's just a huge amount of shoes that come out of a drug dealer. It's like a thing. They just, they like shoes for some reason. I don't know why, but they like shoes. Anyway, I don't know how much this is all going to be worth. Some of those Jordans are like $80 a pair. Some of these Nikes are like 30, 40 years. I don't know. It's way more than $90 we paid for the unit. At least we can say that for sure. We made a crap ton of money on it and it seems like we always do when it's a drug dealer. So if you enjoyed it, leave it a big fat thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and until next time, peace out.